Prostate cancer rates among men 45 and older rising. Yeah, and a new study shows that rates have increased significantly with recommendations mm. against routine prostate cancer screening. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here with more on that research. Liz. Well, guys, a decade ago, routine screening for prostate cancer with PSA blood tests was discouraged by the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force over concerns that it would lead to overdiagnosis and unnecessary treatment. And now, new research of more than 800,000 patients finds that recommendation. Foundation coincides with the rising rates of metastatic prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer among men in the U.S. Dr. Judd Mallel is a urologic oncologist at the Duke Cancer Institute. In the state of North Carolina, we have a higher rate of prostate cancer in African American men. We have a higher rate of prostate cancer in Hispanic men and in lower socioeconomic men. And a new study out of the University of Southern California finds prostate cancer rates for men 45 and older are on the rise. The increase coincides with a recommendation back in 2012 from the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force. It said all men did not need prostate cancer screenings. At that time, they gave the government, this government-authorized organization, claimed that there was no value in the PSA screening for prostate cancer and even went as far as to say there was danger and they gave the PSA test a D rating. D means that there was more harm than good. Dr. Mowell calls it a misguided recommendation. And in 2018, the task force changed its recommendation to a C rating, which still stands today. It says a decision to be screened for prostate cancer between the ages of 55 and 69 should be an individual one made only after talking with your doctor. And men who are 70 and older should not be screened for prostate cancer routinely. In my opinion, the U.S. Preventative Task Force needs to change it to at least to a B but even an A recommendation to encourage men to get a PSA test and be screened for prostate cancer. And a statement from Dr. Carol Mangione, vice chair of the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force, reads in part, even one death from prostate cancer is a tragedy, and we want to do everything we can to protect people's health. The task force's 2012 recommendation was based on the best evidence that was available a decade ago. At the time, the research showed that screening provided a small potential benefit with significant known harms. And to read more of this statement, just head over to our website, CBS17.com. You know, it's, as someone with a history of prostate mm -hmm. cancer, my family and my brother is battling it right now. Mm -hmm. I have to say, you just got to get screened. Yeah, you have so to, important. period. Yeah. All right, Liz, thank you. Well, the Senate has passed a resolution that would end the nationwide mask mandate on public transportation. So this measure would undo federal rules that require masks on planes, trains, and buses until at least April 18th. The House is going to vote on that uh, next. Is it bad that I feel safer on a plane with